What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the brand new Mikul M8S Max. Now this is a full Android TV box powered by the S912 octa-core CPU along with the Mali T820. Now you've got three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi AC, we have a 100 megabyte LAN port, Bluetooth version 4, full Android version 7.1. This supports 4K HDR at 60 frames per second, HDMI version 2.1 with 5.1 surround sound. Comes with an infrared remote control and for the first time that I've ever seen, a cooling fan built in to an Android TV box. So looking forward to testing this one out. Now inside the box, you will find user manual, HDMI cable, a UK power adapter and the voltage is 5 volts to A. This comes with a standard infrared remote control which is powered by two AAA batteries and you can control your television with this remote with the instructions on the back. And if you're wondering if that fan makes any noise at all, well it's actually whisper silent. I'm going to put it on the desk and measure the sound levels for you guys with my sound meter. So you do in fact have a very silent fan. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and hook this up to my TV and capture card and find out exactly how good this TV box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 18 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen for this TV box. Now this is Mikul's default home screen. Now we have seen this same home screen used in past Mikul boxes. So we have a fixed row of icons at the bottom which cannot be changed, but you do have a customizable section at the top. So you just hit the plus sign, select your favorite apps and they will immediately appear. Now let's quickly go over to the main settings and check out the system storage info. So this TV box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which 25 gigs are free to use. And if we have a quick looking about, you will see that we are running Android version 7.1.1. Now let's check out the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet and you do have quite a few apps to get you started including YouTube, Netflix, Google Chrome and of course the full version of the Google Play Store. So the first thing I tested was Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy smartphone and it connected straight away. There was no lag whatsoever. You have yourself a smooth screen mirroring experience. Now not only do you have Miracast, this box also comes pre-installed with AirPin Pro and that will allow you to mirror your iOS screen. So I did test this out with my iPhone which is running the current latest iOS version and as you can see screen mirroring experience is nice and smooth with no issues at all. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I will be doing this with the included TV Center app which is basically the Kodi media player but if you wanted the official version just uninstall the TV Center and download the official Kodi version from the Play Store. So let's check out some 4K shall we? Now moving on to the YouTube test and you can stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. Don't underestimate who I am. I do not stand by. I know you want to fight, but there are other ways of doing your duty. I'm LAPD. Let's go. Do you have a more specific address? Captain! That's not how Uber works. So next up was the Netflix test and you can stream a maximum of 480p on Netflix and it works absolutely fine. She greets her one-year-old cup. Likewise, Amazon Prime Video is also working absolutely fine at 480p quality. We need to leave this place right now. So moving on now to the gaming test and we're beginning with a new game called Gear Club. Yeah. 
So for your advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level one. And here is CPUZ showing you the clock speeds, firmware versions, and root information. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 36 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And our current top speeds are between 67 to 70 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 2364. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 47K. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is the top performing Android TV box chart of 2019, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the MiCool M8S Max has taken position 20 on this chart with a rating of 8.4 out of 10. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new MiCool M8S Max. So here are my thoughts on this device. This box performs very well. The fan is quite silent in operation and does a great job at keeping the system running nice and cool. Now it means you can game as much as you like on this device. Streaming wise, a maximum of 1080p on YouTube and 480p on Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. And I'm very happy to say that Netflix is working fine with no issues at all. Now you have support for both Miracast and AirPlay, which is wireless screen mirroring from Android and iOS devices. Android 7 is very fast and smooth in general use, although a little dated now, but hopefully Miku'll drop a firmware update pretty soon. Furthermore, there is no USB 3 and I was not getting my top Wi-Fi speeds, but if you can get yourself closer to your router, you will then receive your top speeds. Nevertheless, I was able to stream any content with no buffering issues. Bottom line, this box offers a pretty decent and powerful octa-core performance and a silent built-in fan means no overheating issues. I'm definitely very pleased to see the built-in fan working so well and hopefully we see more TV boxes with built-in fans just like this one. So good job for Mikul for always bringing us some great new innovation and I really do hope Mikul drop Android 9 Pi update very soon for this box and if they do, I should certainly follow up with an update video. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.